congratulations on this, both of you guys. Uh, so funny, so action-packed. Um, Arnold, this is so interesting that this is your first ever TV series. It's almost hard to believe. Now that you've done, you know, this one and you have that all that experience doing films, uh, what are the pros and cons each? Hmm. I, I really cannot see of any kind of a disadvantage of doing a TV set uh, uh, series. I, th I think the only thing that's really different is that you have to uh, focus on your character and all this for a much longer period of time. Because remember, we're shooting here eight hours, which is eight episodes. And the movie is usually two hours. And uh, so it's a much longer period of time. And it's a lot of work and you have to really stay very disciplined to a certain time schedule. Uh, and all that, but then none of this is a real problem because it was fun. It was fun to do the action. We had enough time to really prep for the action and for the stunts and all of this. And I think that I was, you know, as usual, relying very heavily on my cast. And I had a fantastic cast around me. And that's what makes then the movie when you have really good dynamics. Like I was extremely happy with the with the dynamic that uh, that uh, Monica and I had and how well we worked together and played together uh, and at the various different scenes and then watching her doing the stunts and and being willing to go and to rehearse with the stunt crew and all this stuff. So I, I, I think that the whole thing was really a fantastic experience doing this series. And I've done TV work in the past, as you know, in the 70s and 80s, if, you know, uh, uh, but it was not an episode, an episode uh, or a whole season or something like that. It was just a, a you know a part here and a part there, or guest starring in this show or that show and so on. Now, Monica, your resume of working with Hollywood legends is is pretty good so far. I gotta say. Yeah. Right? Someone someone like, told me yesterday I should buy a lottery ticket because apparently <laughs> I'm very lucky. Is it just a note you give your agent like legends only, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, but no. I, I mean, yeah, I've been, I've been super lucky. I don't really have any family in this industry, or a lot of my friends do very different things for a living, and so it's nice to get to not only meet people in the industry and have mentorship, but to have that sort of thing from legends is is pretty wild. The consensus with the cast, um, Arnold, is that they adore you and they say that you're such a cool guy to be around just the most generous on set monica can you confirm no it's all lies it's the absolute worst <laughs> um yeah of course of course we had a great time he shows up so prepared he's so professional but he also has a way of like keeping it fun and light and that is a hard balance to strike in in a set environment and he's very very good with it now, Arnold, you've got this with Netflix. Also coming up, you've got that three-part docuseries, Arnold, with Netflix. Um, how do you know that it's the right time to release a documentary like this about your life and career? You know, I don't know. And I don't make the decision. Nor do I make the decision that the documentary is being made about me in the first place. So uh, this is Netflix's deal. I have very little to do with this whole thing other than having to sit there for uh, I don't know how many hours, 40 hours of interviews and stuff like that, that I agreed to do. And uh, because I want to have my story and my side of the story told by me. Um, mm. And um, you know, when it comes out, Netflix makes those decisions. And I think it could easily be that the response of this series of FUBAR was so great and the response to the trailer of FUBA and all of this, that they said, you know, I think we could be very successful with FUBA here, and it could be a huge hit, and I think with that we should just be right. 14 days later, come out then with the, with the documentary, with the three-part documentary called Arnold. And uh, so that's what they decided to do. I don't make those decisions. I, as a matter of fact, was just made the chief action officer of Netflix, and so I only make decisions now when it comes to action series or action movies that I have a say, but not about documentaries or anything like that. So you're saying if I have any action movie ideas, I got to come to you. Exactly. It would be a good idea. Yeah. But that would be, that'd be a good idea. Well, again, congratulations on the series. Uh, thank you so much for the time. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. I got to say, this is, this is such a cool thing to be able to say, um, I'm working with Arnold again. 
Like, well, what is this? Like, did anybody else contact you on the cast that was like, hey, so uh, what's your like on set? How do I, uh, how do I approach him? Was anybody like that? Uh, I, you know, I, I'm trying to remember. I don't think, um, you know, I don't, I don't think so. He, he's, he's so generous and accessible and he knows what he means to people. He wants to be there for you. He wants you to win more than you do, you know, when it comes to your work. So, um, and I think that he has a, he has a different relationship with everybody. And, um, you know, there was definitely a sense that, you know, they, they knew that we had the history and it was, you know, it's probably kind of weird that the villain and the hero are eating lunch in the same trailer and having schnitzels, but it's, um, but we love each other, man. And, uh, and, and it's, um, I was really happy. I, I really love to see the rest of the cast have that experience because it's one that not everyone has, you know, and it's cool to have other people that you can, you know, you can um, share this mutual experience with and to see, to see their hearts light up, their eyes light up. And, and um, cause it never, it, it, we say it all the time. It never gets normal to be in the presence of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I so I, I'm happy they're now on this ride to, you know, this, cause he keeps his people, you know, people, his friends, he keeps them. He's a very loyal friend and keeps them for years and years and years. So, you know, I look forward to seeing more Arnold and fortune Feimster action duos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's also a very unique thing to be able to say that you kind of have more experience in a particular field than one of, you know, actions greatest legends in that this is his first TV series. Right. Did you did you see him operate in a particular way that was different than what you had seen before? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, he was a very studious governor uh, on this shoot. I mean, he, he would spend nights, He you know, we'd go, we'd have dinner, uh, you know, we'd have, have a stogie or whatever, and he's just, you know, I have to study. <laughs> so he just, he would go, him and Walter, his, uh, his, uh, uh, the his acting acting uh, coach that he works with, who's been with him for years and years. I mean, you know, once again, his loyalty. He's he has the same team, and it's the same like three four guys, and and that's his those are his guys, you know. Um, but yeah, he he's sitting there, learning eight pages instead of you know one or two one liners, Terminator zingers. You know, he's learning eight pages of CIA jargon and family dynamics and and. Uh, and then delivering and not getting it out, not getting it out of the park, you know.